We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Cancer magister, also known as Dungeness crab, are found in murky salt water and eel grass beds from Alaska to Mexico. They can regrow lost appendages and are 4 to 5 years old before growing large enough to harvest. Only the polygamous males are harvested in Washington State. Restricted areas to crabbing include marine preserves, marine protected areas, non-commercial and limited commercial areas. For more information visit this link to shellfishing restrictions. Alaska Department of Fish and Game reports that large female Dungeness crabs can carry as many as 2.5 million eggs until they are released after hatching. Females come to sexual maturity at 2 to 3 years old and mate when they are in the soft shell molting stage. Males have a narrow arrow on their belly or apron. Female aprons are large and wide. The Dungeness crab is considered a delicacy in the United States and Canada, long before the area was settled by Europeans. First things first, to catch Dungeness, you need to use good bait. We use chicken legs or turkey legs. They are rather cheap and we have found that Dungeness crab love turkey and chicken legs. If you plan on leaving the area where you throw your crab pots for longer than an hour and a half, we suggest using two legs per pot if using chicken or one turkey leg. In order to have a successful day crabbing, your bait must be properly secured inside of your crab pot. The simplest way to catch Dungeness crab is to be sure your bait is secured inside your crab pot. Seven. 
About one quarter of the crab's weight is meat. Dungeness crabs can typically be purchased either live or cooked. Many cook live crabs by simply dropping them into boiling salt water, waiting for a boil to return, and then allowing it to continue for 15 minutes. After which time the crabs are removed and placed into cold water to cool, and then cleaned. After which the guts and gills can be scooped or hosed out. Many consider half backing to be superior to cooking the entire crab, because the meat is not contaminated by the flavor or toxins of the guts. Furthermore, half backed crabs boil faster or can be quickly steamed instead of boiled. Two common tools for removing crab meat from the shell are crab cracker and a shrimp fork. Sometimes, a cleaver, mallet, or small hammer is used for cracking Dungeness crab, but the use of these devices is not recommended, as the integrity of the meat may be compromised by the impact. <laughs> 